Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and it's cast time once again. And, um, this time around, I'm gonna do kind of a risky experiment here. I'm actually gonna have two different YouTube videos going at once. Um, one of them, uh, the big one, big obvious one that you see, is gonna be the uh, 4K Spring Walk through Vancouver Island, Canada. Um, and then, um, as you can see in the lower left corner, I suppose I, I could probably expand with that. Then the lower left corner, I'm gonna have some background music going. Um, the group's called Ove Sang. It's their self-titled album. Said that right. Okay, close enough. Uh, but like, um, but it's also the reason why I'm doing this about an hour and a half earlier than I normally do it, because I got a feeling that if this does work without um uh, without log jamming my cast, then I'll I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. But if like I said, if it does work, it's really gonna jack up the file size on this thing. So I need to get this done early, and so I can uh, so I can get it all to give me some extra time to get it all uploaded and stuff. Oh, and uh, and also I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy, pomegranate blueberry flavored. So, get ready for some pops. Yep, and I'm down to my last few cans. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and get this going. I need to look at something. Let me pause this. You cut that down and you cut that in half. Yeah, I forgot to do this. I forgot to do this before I got the cast going. I forgot to do a sound check. So. Otherwise, uh, didn't do a, a huge amount of stuff. Uh, just played a lot of Gems of War. Uh, played some stuff offline. There's a uh, there was a new group. Um, I think. Oh, what's his name? DJ Screw. He uh, turned me on to another group, but uh, I like it. I like it, but I don't. It, I mean, I get the purpose behind it and stuff. Um, it's meant for clearing out like super low low level content like 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 really super quick but um which again there is probably gonna be, I'll probably use it from time to time but I'm still gonna be going back to my previous one I mean after uh I mean after yesterday after I cleared out uh difficulty 12 content like the super high the super difficult stuff um it's really hard for me to like to go to the uh, super low level stuff now. I mean, I'm still not going mad. I'm still not going all out balls to the wall or anything, but fairly close to it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn that down a little more. But like I said, this is just an experiment. Um, it doesn't look like it's really clogging up this cast at all, but. If that if that's true, then this is gonna be a huge file size. So, but yeah, just from just been uh, doing a lot of farming, a lot of farming and jumps of war. Um, just watching uh, just 
watching random stuff. Um, there's a... There's a channel. There's a channel that I watch. Um, it's called Second Thought. Uh, the guy... The guy that does that channel, he's a socialist. I'm not a socialist. Just to get that out there. But, I mean, I... I'll... I'll list... I'll listen to and I'll read a fair amount of different I'll, I'll read from all kinds of different philosophers and activists and whatnot um, ranging from Ayn Rand to uh, to KRS-One so it just it, my tastes run the gamut I mean and no I don't I don't read the stuff 24-7 or anything like that but like but going back to what I was saying um, this one channel second thought I actually started checking out some of the videos that he did like like four years ago, like right around his channel first started, I'm, I'm like, holy shit, this looks like Minute Earth. Because um, the kind of content you're going to be seeing these days, it's like going to be all 100% um, a bunch of different YouTube video clips put together. Like it looks really super sophisticated. But uh, back then, he was like drawing all of his own stuff, like doing all of his own artwork. Like, okay, this is kind of cool. I mean, because looking at his recent stuff, hang on, I'm gonna have to turn that down even more. There. Okay, but it, but yeah, like I, like I was saying, um, because the stuff you see these days, it looks so super sophisticated that it's it looks like he's just hiring a. It looks like he's he just. He hired a video editor to do all the uh, video work for him while he just does all the narration. Like, it's it's that sophisticated. But I'm I'm thinking no. Because, like I said, the, the stuff he was doing when he first started out, it was, like, all hand-drawn artwork done by him. It was all uh, just cheap, kind of like uh, cheap animations. And so I'm guessing it was all done by him. So yeah, it looks like second thoughts like a one-man operation. I mean, granted, these days he has a uh, he has sponsors. Yeah, he a lot of his stuff these days is sponsored. So yeah, I gotta I gotta I have to skip like the first ten or so seconds, which again uh, I gotta I gotta give props to him for doing this. Um, he's putting the sponsors and advertisements at the start. Like the first five, ten seconds of every video. So that's a huge plus with me. Um, another, uh, another YouTuber. Uh, if I can, if I can remember her name. Animal Logic. She did the same thing. Um, just first five, ten seconds. This video brought to you by Skillshare. You know, and then, and then, um, at the end of the video, she talks more about you know, extols the virtues of Skillshare, that kind of thing, Pl sponsor plug. But these two, these two channels, they have the, they have the courtesy to just make them, make them short and put them at the beginning and end of the video. They're bookending it, not, and I've probably heard me mention the name before, as much as I love the guy, Jim Cornette, uh, legendary wrestling manager or pro wrestling manager. Yeah, he'll, he'll try to plug his sponsors in the middle of his videos. Like he tries to, insidiously insert them in as though or like part of a normal conversation so it i find that to be kind of disrespectful but but anyway yeah i just i i was pretty impressed with this guy i mean again i'm not a i'm not a i'm i'm not left i'm not right i'm not socialist i'm not capitalist i'm not 100 percent anything um politically i took a political compass test a few months ago and it came up nelson mandela um, halfway to libertarian, and just a little tiny bit left of center. So, so I'm not an extremist. But, but yeah, so I found that to be pretty impressive. And it looks like my uh, it looks like this video is holding up. I mean, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything real super choppy or anything, or I'm not hearing any interruptions. I suppose I could probably look at my task manager. Whoops, wrong one. It's using up almost all of my CPU, though. <laughs> almost all of my CPU and about 75% of my RAM, though, so it's really skirting the line here. But like I said, this is just something I wanted to do. I wanted to try it out, see how well it worked. 
It's working, but just barely. Um, but, um, oh, what else, what else? And, um, I'm also, uh, I have talked about this before, but after, after, um, this week's work week, I'm really considering no longer streaming on my work nights. But, um, I've talked about it before, but it just, it, for one, it, I've been, I've been streaming for, I've been streaming for it, probably about five years now. So, old habits die hard. But also, up until recently, I was working a full-time job too, not part-time. So, the three days a week that I'm working, I'm working 10-hour shifts now, not just, not just eight-hour ones. So, I'm, you know, I'm being, and plus we're under new management, we have different ways of doing it, doing things, we're short-handed. So, I'm being run pretty ragged on those three days. Times are different now. But again, again, I've been doing this for so long, it just, I don't, it's a decision that I don't want to make lightly. But uh, I actually, uh, I think it was Friday, I, I'm i sitting here nodding off, and like I usually do, I warn people that I'm probably going to be shutting down here like about a half hour or so, or you know, something like that, just, just so I'm not I'm not being disrespectful to my audience. I'm just saying, okay, guys, I'm tired. I gotta go. Bye. Beep. You know, it's, it's kind of like that. Kind of leave them hanging. So, but I'm uh, I'm taking a drink. But yeah, I had one of my one of my regulars. <laughs> Joe, don't don't try to stay awake if you're tired. Just go lay down, man. Just do it. I'm like really. Okay, I just... <laughs> it was almost like that scene in Kong Pao. I implore you to reconsider. Mm, okay, I'll go lay down. So, it was, it was kind of like that. So, it, it, right after that happened, I I'm, I started I started considering it again. But uh, the second problem I got to is uh, it's also going to totally alter the way I do my uh, Final Fantasy XIV blogging. Because right now, I do it three days a week. And, um, in order, in order for me to feasible, in order for me to, in order for me to, to, or excuse me, in order for blogging for it to be feasible, I would have to do it four days a week, like every single one of my days off. And, um, one of the reasons why I went back to, why I went to doing it only three days a week, it just... I don't always do something magical every single day, so, and plus, um, when it would, it would, uh, when I first started doing it, and you know, you know, I would just have just a regular, regular old grindy day, you know, just doing my dailies, um, my blog posts then, when I was, when I was doing it every day, would amount to nothing more than, Joe Schmall here, grinding my dailies, grinding a few dungeons. a little bit of chatting and then nothing else nothing more to report Joe Schmo over and out you know it, it just you know it doesn't make for a very you know it, it, it's to where it it would take me longer to to put the fit to put the finishing touches on the blog post it up and then post it up on Twitter there, I've had blog posts like that like it would take me longer to to get it posted up and then get it put it up and get it put up on Twitter than it would have been to actually make the post. So that was one of the reasons why I just switched to doing it three days a week. That way so I can actually, the fewer times that I actually would put a post up, there would be more meat on it. There would be more meat to it. There would be more stuff in it. So I figured uh, three bigger blog posts would be better than seven tiny ones. So, but again, in order, if I was to no longer stream on my work nights, in order, on the blogging front, in order for it to be feasible, I would have to do it. I would have to blog four days every single one of my nights off. So, and, and again, it just, it, it becomes almost a waste of time at that point. And, um, and I don't want to, and I don't want to be doing no, 
one blog and one blog a week either because I mean I I still want to this is probably gonna come out wrong and please don't misunderstand me on this but um I need I still need to put myself out there I still need to toot my own horn I you know I still need to I don't want to I really don't want to use this word because I don't want people to think I'm a celebrity but I still want to stay relevant So you know, I and um and the way uh the way the Final Fantasy fourteen lodestone works is uh oftentimes the moment you post a blog up in short order it it goes right up and or no no in that case it goes it just floats down to the bottom being replaced being pushed down to the bottom of the page by all these other new blog posts that come up. Oftentimes they're even more of a waste of time than mine are. Cause they're uh a lot of theirs are final are uh, benchmarks. Like uh, the game has a has a benchmark you can take to find out how uh, how well your system runs on that game, and you can post up your results on the lodestone on the lodestone block. A good chunk of what gets posted on there are those. So they're like like I said, they're they're a complete fucking waste of time. I mean, a waste of space, you know. Posting, you know, posting your results on a blog, and posting it up, fucking over people like me and uh, and probably other, other legendary, for lack of a better word, uh, blog posters like uh, Annabelle Ashcroft comes to mind. She's another uh blog poster. She's on a lot. Um. Oh, what's another one? Uh, Lolo Menahue. I think that's his or her name. Um, that's another one I see on there from time to time, but. I mean, it, it really screws over guys, people like us, that we pretty much post on the lodestone for a living. Or it, it, I should say it's a labor of love for us. So, yeah, so it really sucks when our posts get pushed to the bottom because of people like them. You know, just them and their damn benchmark. Okay, thanks. Bye. So, so yeah, that's one of the reasons where... I've also considered only posting one blog a week, but again, I got to stay relevant. Not to, not that I'm trying to be a celebrity or anything, but, you know, so I, I have to keep posting stuff out there, you know, before it gets uh, pushed to the bottom of the pile, I guess. I guess that's the phrase I'm looking for. So, oh, and also, before I forget, before I forget again, um, unless things change, which they might, um, in late November, um, I will be, uh, I will be playing Final Fantasy XIV. I will be doing the new expansion, Endwalker. I just pre-ordered it, so I'm gonna have early access, which isn't really that impressive, because you're only playing the game just a few days before everybody else is. So, nothing that impressive about it. Um, I did it just... Um, just kind of along the same lines as where, where, where some jobs, where if you, uh, if you want, if you quit, they'll go ahead and give you your final paycheck, like immediately or shortly after you've quit, just to get you out of their book work. They'd rather just have you all cleaned up and squared away now and not have to deal with it some, some uh, period down the road. Kind of, kind of the same thing here. I just wanted to go ahead and pay for the expansion now. So it's done and squared away out of the way. So, I'd rather do this now while the traffic, while the traffic isn't that great. So, so um, but again, um, I'm really liking Gems of War right now. So, it's, I, it's, it's also to where that I'm even playing the game off stream. So, I like it that much. I, not something that I can really say for a lot of other games out there that I've, that I've played. A lot of those games, I like them, I play them, but once I'm done with them, I'm done. Like, I don't touch them again until my next stream. Not Gems of War. I mean, I'm even playing that sucker off stream, so. So, but I, where where that game, where that game's gonna fit in during my time playing Final Fantasy XIV, I don't know. Um, so, it's just, um, I'll have to cross that bridge when I come to it.
But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me. Um, I've said all the things that I wanted to say. So I'm just going to set to getting this video uploaded, processed, and all that good stuff. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming around, everyone. And see you all next time. Bye for now.